This is an ICT level one and level two video. And in this video, we're going to be looking at database. So what is a database? A database is an organized collection of data. So let's say, for example, you are the owner of a business. Let's say you are the owner of a garden center and you want to cut keep a collection of information about your customers, the names of your customers, the addresses, their phone numbers, how much uh, product or produce have they bought from you, when did they make these purchases. So these are the type of information that you can use in a database. It's an organized collection of data. Why do we use a database? Because it's a very good way of keeping accurate records of information. You might think to yourself, this is very similar to spreadsheet, because in spreadsheet, we also create data tables and, and graphs, but database is different because it's very good for storing, firstly, a large amount of information, and more importantly, for conducting searches and finding stored information quickly. So for instance, if you are still the owner of that garden center, if you're searching for a specific customer information, maybe a price that they've paid, the date that they've bought their uh, item, or say even their phone number, by conducting a search in database, you can quickly access the information you are looking for. Okay, so that is what a database is. It's just a way of keeping a lot of information in a nice, accurate and organized manner. In this video, we're going to use Microsoft Access. We're going to learn how to open a database, set up a database, set up fields, and enter data. And for that, I'm going to open Access. Okay, so I've got my Microsoft Access. And these are all the different templates that we can use. For this video, I'm going to use the blank database. Straight away, we are prompted to create a file name, and I'm going to call it Level 1, Level 2, ICT. And I'm going to click Create. So once I create my database, this is what a blank database would look like, and it automatically opens in the Fields tab, not in the Home tab, like you would expect with Word, for example. Okay, so let's get to know some of the terminology used in database. When we worked on spreadsheet, each of these little boxes was called a cell, and each cell had a name, for example, F2, D3, etc. In a database, these little boxes have different names. The top row, the very, very top row, which is a light gray color, these are called fields. And we need to type in every single field we want for our database. So let's start there. I'm going to double click on this field here. And I'm going to give it the title first name. So let's say I'm still the owner of that garden center and I want to create a database for all my customers and, and the customers information. I want to know my customer's first name. So I'm going to type in first name. As soon as I do that, just for this very first field, never again, just for this first field, I'm going to click on the row below. Once I click on the row below, straight away, database wants to know what type of information am I going to be typing in here? Well, if I'm going to be typing customer's first name, is it going to be short text, long text? Is it going to be a number, large number, date, currency, yes or no? It's going to be a short text. So I'm going to click on short text 
text. That means from now on, under this field for any of these records, I am only allowed to type a short text. Once we've set the first field, all the other fields, we don't need to go up here anymore. We can actually do it right here. We can actually set our data right here. So I'm going to click once. I'm going to click once on this field. And if I have first name, I want the second field to be surname. So I'm going to click short text and I'm going to give it the title surname. And surname is going to be a short text again. The third field, if I'm still the owner of that garden centre, that business, I want to know, I want to keep a record, how much has each customer paid? So I'm going to click on my field, how much have they paid? We're talking about currency. So I'm going to click currency, straight away I've got currency ready, and I'm going to type in amount paid. So I've got my customer's first name, their surname and how much they've paid. For this video I'm going to add one more field and that is I'm going to add when as in the date that my customer came and made their purchase. So I'm going to select date okay and I'm going to give it the title for example date purchased or with a D. OK, so whenever I want to type something in here, I know automatically that it's going to be a date and I have this little calendar here to help me. OK, so so far we have opened our database, uh, we have given it a title and we have set fields. Now we want to start entering data. So the first name, I have to remember, I set this as a short text. So the first name has to be in text form. It can't be a date or a number. The name, the first name of my customer is going to be, for instance, John. The customer's surname, for instance, is going to be Wilkins for the purpose of this video. How much did Mr. John Wilkins pay when he came to buy his product? For instance, he bought his product for £15.50. When did he come and purchase that product? For instance, let's say last Friday, which was the 8th. So I have input information for my first customer. I'm going to input information for one more customer for this video, just for a bit more practice. So my second customer, let's say for instance, is a Ms. Samantha. Her surname is going to be Smith. She made a purchase of, for instance, $24.95. And what date did she make the purchase? Let's say, for example, it was yesterday. So yesterday's date, I'm going to click there from my calendar. And that is how we input information. In my uh, later video, I'm going to show you how you can transfer information, input information from a text file. So you will not be doing it manually, but that's going to be for my later video. So in this video, we learnt about database, we learnt what a database is, we learnt that it's an organised collection of data. In this video, it was customer information. We learnt why we would use a database, it's because we would keep accurate records of information. We learnt about the difference between spreadsheet and database in that spreadsheet is more for tables. It's not necessarily uh, records of information in an organised manner and mainly we use it to be able to view our information in a graph or um, say chart form. We also learnt that we use a database for storing large amounts of information and that we can conduct searches if we're looking for a specific bit of information. We learnt how to open a database, to set it up, set up fields and to enter data. Thank you for watching.